Hey guys, Lee Taft here. Welcome to Speed Tips from my garage. In the classroom today is number 126. Let's talk about training the vestibular system, the ability of the, the athletes to be able to relocate their eyes and their head movement while they're training. Funny thing is, I remember back in New York when I had my Speed Academy a long time ago. We used to do these type of drills all the time. And I did, I did them because I was trying to help them specifically in sports where they had to do a lot of tracking and we did these all the time. It was a part of my warm up, and then oftentimes part of the body of the workout. And I just saw such value in them and I didn't understand it as well back then. Now I understand how valuable it is. So this is a part of um, you know, the new program that I'm actually speaking a lot on this year and I'm gonna do a little product on this to share called Rebooting the Athletes, the fundamentals of movement that are just critical to any other specific movement athletes need. So here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna show you a, a part of this so you start to get an idea, then you can see where you can run with it. So I'm just gonna start with a lateral run step. So basically, remember, lateral run is we push, we open, we cross, right? Okay, the first one is, so phase one is the athlete is gonna maintain vision in the direction they start. So my vision, my head, my eyes are perpendicular to the direction that I'm gonna travel, okay? So it's gonna look like this. I'm looking at you the whole time. So I go here and I come back, okay? The next one, now we're gonna look in the direction we're gonna travel. So I have to locate, stop, plant, come back, and then locate my new direction, right? But it's always the way that I'm going. Okay, so my eyes turned in that direction. I had to relocate where I was going. The next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go facing away from where we're going. So now I'm tracking something, a ball that is being, forcing me to go deep, a pop fly, a lob in tennis, okay? So now I'll start here, we push, and we push, okay? Then what we start doing is we, other than the first one, where the head stays neutral, is on the push off, I'm gonna turn my head in that direction. Okay, so rather than doing it beforehand, I'm gonna do it while I'm pushing off. So I'm starting here, push, turn, square back up, push, turn, and then I do it going the other way. So I push, turn, push, turn, and the sensation is different. It's totally different because, number one, my head's moving, my inner ear has to adjust uh, to, the, you know, to my new movement. So this is spatial awareness which incorporates body awareness. Where are my limbs in space while I'm moving? And I'm developing tracking skills. So if you do this, you can actually do things where the athlete has to catch a ball, maybe repeat a number that you, you know, as a coach you put up, but they have to be able to find it using their eyes as they're performing a skill. So think how many sports where we play and we turn and we track or we stay located, but we rotate around, and then we turn, and then we track something, or we come here, and we turn. So I have a whole series of exercises like this that we do that helps develop, again, we're working vestibular balance, uh, the ability to be able to locate and, and maintain balance while you're doing it. Because just as I even did those, of course, it's in the morning, it's first thing moving, I haven't really done a ton today other than just a strength workout, but I haven't moved a lot. It, it's a little bit disorienting at first, but I think that's so important in developing your athletes. So give that a try, a little bit of vestibular training, rebooting the athlete's normal patterns, but get their eyes traveling with them, and I think you're gonna really like the results that you get. Hey guys, see you for 127, have an awesome day.